Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very interesting video and it's a video that I could have made a year ago um, because I've been working from home now as a trainee solicitor in London for like a year and a month? A year and a, a nearly, yeah. A year and two months. I mean, the exact maths don't matter, but a long time. I feel like I finally got to a point now where I'm really set up for success. And so I wanted to share with you my current work from home setup as a trainee solicitor, because you're probably working from home at the moment. Or if you're not working from home, I thought it just might be interesting for you to see what it looks like to work from home um, in your literal bedroom as a trainee solicitor in London. So come along for the ride, come on. Come on, let me show you something. I sit beside the keyhole Glimpsing at the world outside Now before we start this video, I just want to quickly say this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare are our absolutely favourite online learning community with literally thousands of different classes that you can take. They always support this channel and most recently I've been taking their class on portrait photography. That might seem a little strange to you, but I'm taking Hot Girl Summer very seriously, and I've been taking classes on like the right photography gear, the right location shoots, how to shoot at sunset. I'm not missing an opportunity that I get out of the house this summer. I've been in lockdown for a year. It's not happening. If that sounds like something that you are interested in, or any of their other thousands of classes, then the first 1,000 people to click the link in the top line of my description get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And then after that, it's only around $10 a month. Go try it out. I feel like I was dreaming. So, first thing I want to show you, and I will be honest, this whole video is going to be a bit of a vlog. I thought a lot about how I can effectively record this, but actually I think the easiest thing for me to do is to pick you up and show you around. So, here's my bedroom here. Um, then I have my big window, which overlooks London, and then here I have my work setup. So, as I previously just said, yeah. My, my bed and my work setup are very close to each other. I actually found it easiest to put it right in the corner. Now, a key thing to think about when you decide where to put your working from home setup is what the background is gonna look like. Even in internal team meetings, um, where I'm required to be on video, you want to kind of ensure that your background is okay. Now, if I'm in a very serious, formal, professional video call, I will actually always use a virtual background. So you've probably seen that if you've ever used zoom or you survived any of summer 2020 when everyone was changing their virtual backgrounds on zoom my law firm has like a suite of zoom backgrounds that you can download and use um and they're kind of just like cityscapes if i'm in an internal core then i'm actually fine with this being my background but this is kind of what people can see when i'm on a video call so generally you know it's fine Girl, we used to You'll notice a few things immediately. So the first thing is that my actual desk is quite a small desk. Um, it's a desk from Ikea, it was very cheap. And this here is a standing desk platform. Um, this here has been an absolute game changer for me. They aren't super cheap. You can get much cheaper versions and much more expensive versions. Um, you can also get laptop stands that also rise and fall as well. So maybe if you just wanna try out what standing feels like, just get a laptop stand that moves up and down. The first thing I'm going to talk about are my two screens. So the first is my work laptop. My work laptop is a touch screen, so sometimes it's helpful to just kind of like flick through the news in the morning. And then I also have that plugged into my second screen. My second screen is a curved Samsung screen. Um, it's fantastic. It's super wide. I don't think you can tell how big that is. So I've just pulled up a quick example of why having such a large screen is really helpful. So I could have my emails or my time recording open on my laptop. If you didn't know already, when you're a lawyer, you have to record everything you do hour by hour on a billable basis so every task I do I have to log into a time recording app I might be looking at a markup that's come from the other side or from one of our clients I could be taking comments into another document I could just be reviewing two documents against each other I want to be able to go almost like line by line in a very precise comparison between two documents I had to 
here are my computer headphones. Um, these were given to me by the firm. I don't actually use these very often. Um, I prefer to take all my calls on loudspeaker from my laptop. So if I'm walking around my room, I will get my headphones out from the dock and I will just walk around like this because that can mean that people hear me. Um, and if I have it on loudspeaker, um, if I walk away too far, they can't still hear me. So a lot of my work calls look like this. I will just kind of like undock my headphones and I will flip my mic down and just kind of walk around my room. So the last few bits of tech I will show you are my mouse and my keyboard. These were super cheap from Amazon. They're like really, oh my God, that is so dusty. Um, they're like really like thin set keyboards. I used to have a very deep keyboard, <laughs> but I type very aggressively. And I actually find that I can type way faster and like skim across a thin set keyboard rather than a thick one. These are also both great because they're chargeable so I can just plug them in and they will charge um, for like days at a time. Um, next, I wanna talk about my headphones. Um, I have two different headphones I use and also a sp specific speaker I use as well during my working days. These headphones I've talked about before, I think when I was doing some of my study vlogs, but I use these on an everyday basis and I use them for two reasons. Firstly, um, I have to listen to music when I work. I know some people are like, they cannot have music at all, um, but I, listen to music, podcasts, when I'm typing away at things, and um, that kind of like background noise really helps me with my concentration. Um, however, sometimes I also need periods of like complete silence. I live in zone two in London, there are always sirens. I live with two other housemates as well, and it can just get loud in the house sometimes. A great thing about a law firm is that law firms are like very hushed places. Um, I don't know whether any of you have been inside a law firm before, but kind of like, within the working levels, not just kind of like in the entrance hall. It's quite quiet. People don't really raise their voices in the corridors. <laughs> so if you really need to concentrate, you can just close the door of your room and it is completely silent. So I use these to get complete silence. And when I have these on and I have my noise cancellation on, I literally can't hear anything. I can hardly hear myself talking. When I'm not wearing these, I wear my AirPods. Um, sometimes I will use my AirPods to connect to my work phone. My work phone is different to my actual phone. Um, so if a colleague is trying to get hold of me, they will call me on my work mobile. If I'm taking a call off my work mobile, then I will often dial into that with my AirPods um, because it's just easier and I can go and get a coffee while I'm in a meeting or just get out and about. It's really easy um, to think that if you have like a series of meetings or if you have like a set timetable for your day, that means the whole day has to be at your desk. Whereas actually it's really important to kind of set the boundaries for yourself and if you need to take a meeting and you need to be out and about on your feet or you need to take a walk for your mental health, go and do it. Inform the pe other people in the meeting. I know when I was first working from home, I really felt like I couldn't leave my desk. Um, and it meant that I never left my room between Monday and Friday <laughs> because I was just always here. I didn't even have a commute. Um, which is not good. The last thing I use is my Sonos speaker. Often early in the morning when I'm trying to like get myself like hyped up to do some work or towards the end of the day when I know I'm finishing work or on a Friday, um, I like to get some Christina Aguilera on. I like to get some Beyonce on and I will usually just play that through my speaker because it's like much more fun to have that like out and around me. It's so cold out there. Oh, and I have a little LED light here. And also if I flip this down, which I do sometimes, I just work off this screen. I have this cool light back here, which is one of these bulbs. And at night it keeps like a really warm glow around my setup. But I know it's real. I didn't used to have a standing desk. I actually got this relatively recently. I got this maybe within the past two months and it's made a huge difference to me. But also, um, I wouldn't have pain in my back, but I would like crouch forward and it would cause like my chest to just be like really, really painful. And I would come away from my day feeling just like so tight across my chest. I also take breaks in my day to stretch. Um, this here is my Deutsche Band. Deutsche Band? Deutsche Band. Deutsche Band. It's a German brand. One of my colleagues in work had one of these and it was fantastic and I used to 
use it every day even though it wasn't my own. We were working from home and I couldn't just go and pinch his um, Doiser bands. So I ordered one of my own. They're not very expensive at all. They're kind of similar to um, like gym bands that you would get. But actually what I do, I don't know why I'm showing you this. Is this really boring? <laughs> I don't you're, you're trying to like stretch out enough so that you can get your hands over your back without bending them. You see I'm kind of like, I'm bending my arms. So I'm not flexible enough to like get my arms over. But then I use it to like stretch my sides. I use it to open up my chest like that. You see when I'm doing that, it like really like opens up my chest, it stretches my back. Basically, this is great. It depends where you live and whether you have neighbors, but I am also a huge person for having something to throw at a wall. Usually I use a stress ball because a stress ball, if it like pings off in the wrong corner, can't smash something. Whereas a tennis ball can be quite destructive, but I'm like a big, I do this a lot. Sorry to my neighbors, but um, I always have something agile. Where did you go? The next thing I want to talk about is stationery. Now, I've said this before in some of my previous videos, but one of the best things about working in a law firm is the amount of stationery that a law firm has. A law firm really invests in their stationery. However, we're now working from home and we can't go into work and steal all of the stationery anymore. Not that that's what I usually used to do. And to be honest, I've cut down on my stationery use a lot. Also my printing use. Um, when I was in the office, I used to print off every single piece of work I ever did. I would check everything line by line for error. I use stationery now really only on a time management and task management basis. So I have two pieces of stationery which are phenomenal. As a lawyer, especially as a trainee lawyer, you will have a lot of tasks thrown at you throughout the day. And sometimes, you know, someone will phone you, you have to scribble something down really quickly. To be honest, most of that I actually now do through my tech. So I have software on my computer, which allows me to keep to-do lists. However, sometimes it is nicer to just have a physical to-do list. So the first piece of stationery I have is just a literal basic to-do list. The other thing that I find helpful, now I'm actually gonna rip off the top page and not show all of the internet confidential project information. So this project planner is really helpful. So I really recommend finding something similar to this. It's really helpful because the way that a lot of lawyers will work and law firms will work is on a project by project basis. Projects have code names. So you could be on Project Zebra, um, Project Achilles, Project London, Project Tower Bridge. You could have lots of different projects on at the same time. Any more than that, I couldn't fit on my desk. And something you might be thinking is, oh, well, as a lawyer, do you require any kind of like legal textbooks at home? Um, I mean, all of these can be accessed electronically. It's quite similar to how you may study at university. So you could go to a library and take the book out and read it, uh, the original hard copy or you could look at the PDF online. So if it's things for in corporate law, for example, a key piece of text you would use often is the Companies Act. Um, it's like the key piece of legislation which regulates UK corporates. Um, now, if we were in the office, a lot of lawyers at my law firm will have like a physical copy of the Companies Act. But weirdly, because I've been doing my job for, you know, like a year plus at home, you kind of just get into the habit of being able to review all that legislation online. I also have my pencil case, which is pretty basic. It's full of <laughs> lip balms. It's full of legal tabs and highlighters. Um, it's also covered in boobs because I'm quite gay. So that's a nice, that's a little addition to my desk that I also like, but really that's like it when it comes to stationery, to be honest. <laughs> like shows you what my evenings look like. I'm just gonna turn on this lamp as well. I just wanna show you some of the final things that I keep at my desk, which um, keep me going, keep my health and well-being up. The first thing I wanna talk about are my drinks and snacks. I always have my coffee cup at my desk. Um, we're moving into iced coffee season. So if you don't have an iced coffee cup, if you don't own one, get one. And also I put all my water in here as well. So I drink all of my water. By the way, by coincidence, oh, my company makes these, Millennial Coffee Club. These are currently on sale. We only have a few of them left. So if you don't have a coffee cup at your work from home desk or your study from home desk and you want them in time for summer, hot girl summer, iced coffee girl summer, 
then go and get them link in my bio um go and get your own coffee cup because they are literally gorgeous and very affordable at the moment i'm going through a bit of a grape phase i'll be stood here at my desk tapping away and i will literally just throughout the day go in reach in and i'll get through a whole punnet and i feel like I can't be good for my organs. Finally, I do also have a huge water bottle because I get, I forget to drink water. I do it, like I completely forget to drink water. So I need to fill one of these up in the morning and I do, I put half a lemon in, I fill it up with water and I drink it throughout the day and it's just, it's just amazing, it's so good. Um, I will also say, if you don't have a big water bottle or you want a straw for your water bottle, wait a second, what's that? <laughs> I promise this is like a huge coincidence, but um, my coffee club have also just released reusable ecological straws with 100% decomposable sustainable packaging. So if you also need to get some straws, the link is in the description. It's hard to win for someone I don't know. It doesn't matter what job you have, where you work, not being able to work with your colleagues and be given all your tasks as a graduate over the phone, it can get stressful. And so I have worked myself through so many different products in order to find something that actually de-stresses me. I've kind of tried to make it minimal because I used to have so many, I used to have like a huge pump of like, <laughs> of hand cream um, and it would just get everywhere. So. I have leveled down my de-stressing. At the moment I have the Neom de-stress candle. When I finish my work session for the daytime, I will go and eat my dinner, I will shower, I will get into like comfy loungewear or even sometimes pajamas. I will turn on my candle and that for me just highlights that um, I'm now in my evening mode and like I don't have to be as like wired and stressed. I can just kind of like go with the flow, complete the work that comes to me. And I found that a really nice ritual to do. The second thing that I found recently that I kind of treated myself to because it was a little bit pricey, but actually, if it's gonna make a huge difference to how much I can de-stress, I'm gonna get it. This is the Aesop Parsley Seed Antioxidant Eye Serum. Oh my God, this is amazing. You can put it on a face of makeup, you can put it on a clean face. The soothing sensation is crazy. Oh my God, I feel like my eyeballs are gonna slide out of my head. But that is my little insight into all of the essentials I need to work efficiently as a trainee solicitor working from home. So I hope that was somewhat interesting. I don't know whether that was interesting at all, but I thought I would film it because um, soon it might be less and less required that we have to have our own little law firm offices <laughs> from our bedroom. So I thought I would show you now um, into what I've finally chosen as my perfect desk setup as a lawyer. So that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very, very soon. Oh.